So I got up this morning, and in typical fashion, I grabbed a watch to play with, and grabbed a cup of coffee, and sat down, and started looking at what was on uh, not the news. I mean, after all, the uh, the Brits are deciding to stay in or out of the union today. Uh, Donald and Hillary are going at it in America. No, I went off and took a look at the YouTube channel, see what kind of comments you guys have left. And then over to the uh, Google uh, G Plus community dedicated to these amazing watches. And I was just like watching the messages and a little one crossed the path that caught my eye. And it was short and it was simple. It was from Fabio Pal, and it was on the G Plus community. And he basically said, you know, um, looking at the app store, I was able to find a couple of hidden apps by doing something. And it was like, oh, really? So, of course, I grabbed my watch and I went through and I looked for the app store. Now, not the Google Play Store, but the app store. You've been there before. You go in there and you got to be, of course, connected to the network, and it says watch apps, and you wait, and you wait, and you wait, and nothing happens, right? So you touch it, and it's like, oh, okay, that's what I needed to do all along. Well, Fabio went in here, and not only did he see the same apps that we've all seen that you can download on any of these watches now, the round ones, the square ones, as long as it's an Android standalone smartwatch from China, they're all the same because this is maintained on a server, kind of like is done with Google, but it's not Google directly. This is uh, the App Store. What he did was he went up here and he tapped on search. And he put in something. In this case, he put in the letter A. And he searched. And all of a sudden, hidden from view, two new apps showed up a health reminder, and the FM radio that you all have been asking about. Hey, it says in the literature there's an FM radio. Where is it? I can't find it. Neither can I. Well, anyway, here it is. It's hidden. And all you got to do is tap it and download it. So, of course, I grab all of my... Thank you, Fabio. I mean, really, thank you, Fabio. It's amazing what the community can come up with. Um... I downloaded it, which took a while, and went into each of my watches. I started here with the uh, X3. This is the D5, uh, D1, the uh, number one D1. This is the Finau um, X3, because she's got two buttons on the side. And I downloaded these two, the Health Reminder and the Radio FM. So let's take a look at what these apps do for you. When you go into the health reminder, you're going to find it's kind of like, um, how you say, a glorified repeat alarm timer kind of thing. You can say you want to drink water and you want to be reminded, and it has preset the time of the day for eight different times that it will go off and either vibrate your arm or ring an alarm or both or neither, and it'll remind you of taking a break to go and drink some water. Simple as that. Same kind of thing applies for the old sedentary reminder. Get up off the hiney and move out. Do something. At least stand up and stretch every hour on the hour. Of course, being on the hour, you might think it's an alarm to go to a meeting or something, um, but that's up to you. you. These are all defaults, and of course, you can modify them. You have eye exercises, a place for taking medicines if you want three times a day, in the morning, noon, and night, and again, those are modifiable. And then, of course, in the settings, you can decide whether you want it to uh, remind you uh, with sound or vibration and when to start and stop doing all of that. Simple little app, but you know, on all of those other little uh, phone watches that don't have all the capability of this, but they seem to have things like sedentary reminders and all of that, and everybody's all hot. How come I don't have a sedentary reminder on my big fancy phone? Well, now you do, and more, okay? It's in the form of an app. It's hidden. But the real jewel is the radio. When you go into the radio FM and you are on a network cellular with your SIM card in here or on Wi-Fi like I am here, you can go into the different countries 
and load up the different radio stations and scroll through them. Whoops. Scroll through them and pick one. And if it's online, it'll come up and you can tap it. Well, I just went to a different one. Kind of tiny. There you go. We got some music playing. Ha ha, and ads, and everything. And as you know, I uh, can't play that for very long. Well, here's the volume control when you tap it again. And stop. I would play it longer, but if I play more than about four seconds, Google's going to throw an ad on these videos, and I do not want that to happen. So I always try to play just a short section of anything that could be commercial in nature. So there you go. Um, talk radio, all sorts of different radios. FM radio on your watch. Easy as going into the app store. The app store. Downloading them. See, I'm almost up there. And you're in business. Now, this is easy and great for all of your round watches. The D5 or the X1, the uh, X3, or the bigger X5 from Finau. All of them work the same because you can scroll down and find that App Store app. Now, it gets a little more complicated when we bring in our square watches. Okay. Health reminder. It's time to drink water. Look at that. I am kind of thirsty, although I just had a diet soda with caffeine. Can you tell? Confirm. All right. This is ready to install. I have not installed it on this one yet, so you're getting to see the process. It goes in here. I'll be back with you in just a minute. And, you know, you can hit next and next and next, and you can do that forever. Or you can reach in here and you can scroll to get to where it says install and then hit install. Kind of a shortcut for you. While it installs the radio, I want to talk about the number one D6. This watch and the Fino Q1 don't seem to have the uh, app store in any of the apps. When you scroll through your whole list of all of your applications, you'll find the Google Play Store, but you don't find the app store, at least not on mine. It might be on yours. If it is, great. Just go into it. If it's not, you need this little trick. On the uh, D6, you have the capacitive buttons at the bottom, and you press the left button. That brings up two options for doing uh, your managing of apps or your system settings. You're going to go into managing apps. That brings up this big window that lists all of your apps that you're familiar with on a phone. Okay, that's done. The radio is done. If I hit open, it would open it. But I'm going to hit done. And I'm going to go back one level. And I'm going to hit health reminder. And I'm going to download that. It's all in Chinese, but it works in English or whatever language I guess you have set default on the watch. That's doing that on the um, D5. On the D6 now, we've gone in here. And you're on uh, the download tab. You want to scroll all the way over. Whoops, that's my, my uh, turned off, what do you call it? deactivated ones. You notice I deactivated Facebook. There's others like Metal that I would recommend better than Facebook, especially on the watch. That's huge uh, uh, user of both uh, your battery from connectivity, data, and memory. Uh, it's just gotten bloated. So, And it's a default thing that's installed here. So I would deactivate it and use Metal. Little tidbits. Anyway, you go to the apps all page. And it's here that you scroll down to find the App Store. App Store. See it right there? That's where you'll find it. When you open it, and I have it, 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 it is already installed, okay, automatically, but it may not be appearing as one of your icons to get to. It's kind of hidden. So we're going two levels of hidden here. The first level is just to get to the app. Scroll all the way down to where it says Launch and hit Launch. And now you're going to get into the same watch app that you saw over here. We can install that one. Next, 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 next. You can also just hit this until it gets to install and then go. We're in watch apps. We touch it. I'm going to click up here and I'm going to look at my download list. And you'll see that I have already downloaded these three apps. Stocks, Quotes, 
the health app and the radio app. So I don't really need to do it again, but just as a reminder, what I would do is hit here, go into search, put in the letter A, because A appears in both the health one and the FM one. Other letters will work. Some of them won't. As long as it has one of the letters that you use in the app, they're going to show up in the sort. And A just happens to actually work. So that's how you do it. And then you go through this process that you saw here so that you can get them actually installed on the watch, which I've already done on this one. Okay, we got everything covered. The round ones, the square D6, but we don't have the final Q1, the most challenging one of all. And here's why. Watch. In order to get to where we were on the D5 that had the capacitive buttons that we could push the left one to get into all of the apps, here you don't have that. So you have to first go to the Google Play Store and you have to download the app named Settings Search. Okay? Look for that icon. Download that app. When you have Settings Search installed on your Q1, then you can press the button and go and look for applications. When you tap on applications, you get right into all of the apps, just like we were looking at on the number one D6. Okay, you with me so far? So that's the first challenge. The second one, I mean, this is, in, is surmountable. You can actually get in here. The next one's kind of insurmountable. Uh, I've scrolled over to where I list all the apps. And da, 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 in good focus, we scroll down looking for the app store. And there's app, app, but no app store. The uh, implementation of the firmware on the Final Q1 apparently does not support that special app store that we've seen on all the other Final watches and on the number one D6 and D5. It's just not here. And that presents a problem if you want to try to get the FM radio or the, um, the health reminder app. Uh, the other ones that you saw, like YouTube and Skype and, uh, oh, I forget the other one. There, there's a few of them there we showed you already. Those you can, you can get from the uh, Google Play Store for sure. But um, I don't know about these two. The radio and the, uh, the health reminder apps are, are not available to be downloaded. Now, this is... <clears throat> <clears throat> Now, this is the uh, first watch from them. It's an early edition, and it has the original firmware on it. It is highly possible that maybe it's been added in a future firmware update. There have been a couple of them, and uh, there may be a couple more. So when you get your um, Q1 and you want to check this, go do what we did, install that setting search, and come over here and look to see if you see App Store. If you do, you can follow the procedures you've seen here, and you should be able to download your own FM radio. There are other apps out there. One of my favorite is called TuneIn Radio, and uh, it does the same thing. You can get uh, FM radio on it. I haven't really played with it in the small square or the round watch format to tell you whether it really works well or not compared to the one that uh, we've been looking at here. It's something to try. Uh, okay, so that's the wrap on finding the fun little Easter eggs that are out there. And again, a shout out to Fabio Pau on the G Plus community who just casually mentioned he uncovered the Easter egg that led to this video. All right, one more thing I'd like to share with you that is paying special tribute to my really good friend, my old LG G3. This is the, uh, this is the machine you've been watching all these videos through that camera in the back, and I ran over this one with my car, and now it's not working very well. So... By way of tribute, it's worthy that it has a little standing ovation in front of you, da -da -da -da, and you're now being filmed through a brand new LG G3, which, by the way, I could get on eBay for the same price as one of these smartwatches, a little over a hundred bucks. Amazing, huh? This is three-year-old technology, two-year-old. It's brand new. Anyway, uh, price differential. This is still one of my favorite phones. Even if I could get a flagship new one, I would... I did go back to the G3. Awesome, for many reasons. But anyway, 
Thank you for all your service, and I'm looking forward to taking you apart inside and pulling out the modules and learning more about how phones work. Who knows? We might start a phone channel. I doubt it. <laughs> I'm overwhelmed with the watches. One last thing. You've asked about this, and because we've got the FM radio thing going, I'm going... Not on you. Because we've got the FM radio thing going on you, I am going to uh, show you something really cool. You ready? Bluetooth model has been opened. Well, really? Well, thank you very much. A Bluetooth. Oh, oh, and I'm paired. I love it. I am now paired with my Fino X3 watch, which is all set to play a radio you heard a little bit a minute ago. Well, listen to it now. I say, listen to it now. Connecting. <laughs> Buffering. And playing. Yeah, Bluetooth streaming from my watch to my watch. Oh, yeah. This is the B20. Can you hear me? Hello. The B20 here. Okay, okay, okay. Stop. Oh, you know what? There's something on the screen. Turn it down a little bit. What am I doing? What am I doing? Okay, I'm showing you guys the latest innovation in Bluetooth speaker technology. Of course it's going to be watch-like and you're going to wear it on your arm. The only choice is, do you put them both on the same arm, right? Or do you put one on one arm and one on the other? Or are you going to put one on your ankle? How about the speaker on your ankle? Yeah, well, anyway, thanks for watching, you guys. We're always full of fun here. See you soon.